I have, I have one question. Yes. Well, I don't know if it's much of a question as it is, I heard something. Right. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. Right. <laughs> do you all know where I'm going with this? Some of you do. There are whispers because Russell Davies, Russell T. Davies is coming back to Dr. I know, Who. I know, I know. And a little birdie told me yes. he was bringing you with him. What was that little birdie called the internet? <laughs> So that's good. I'm going to give myself a head start. We're going to race across the stage. You, you're ahead of me. What's this? Well, of course, I can't stand up the Come on. All right. Um, uh, drei, zwei, eins, los. Professional than this. Yeah. Hit your cue. You're from England, right? He's been on so many shows. Hit your cue. Yeah, more like Dr. Webb. Bless me, Pipe Pipe. Hey! Hey! Well done. Well done. It's got the typical Ewan McGregor. He's kind of small. All right, let's take a look at the next. Especially if people 
Because you, if you start pretending you, sort of, for instance, if one is an American, you start pretending to be American and you're sort of bootling around Walmart or whatever. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> and not sound like it's just beneath you. Walmart is a store like we would never have by boom. It's like, oh, you have you have toys and you have toilet roll. You have everything in one shop. That's true. Very clever. Have you, you should, uh, if you think that's cool, you should check out a Target. <laughs> they're not the, they are definitely not the same. You just offended all of us as you by talking. I'm shaming you for all my time to see the comments. You should probably just stop right now. <laughs> Next you're going to say you thought Whataburger and In-N-Out were the same thing. Uh, so which is better? What to oh, hold no! Okay, come on, let's bring it down. <laughs> I'm going to do both. I want to hear the reaction. So first of all, cheers for Walmart. Those people just, work at Walmart. Just that side. <laughs> those, those people work at Walmart. Those people the room hate Walmart. We hate it. We love it. We hate it. We love it. Target. <laughs> this has gone some really weird places that I have not prepared for. Sorry, employee, employees of Walmart. Like that. You did lose that one. <laughs> we should stop talking about Target. We've got Doctor Who to talk about. <laughs> Alright, next question. Which is the nicer sign? Sorry. What's George Walmart? Yeah. Show's a target. Oh, that's better. That is better. Oh, there you are. Hello, hi. Coming Don't you. fall off the stage, please. <laughs> Hello, this is too tempting. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna fall off the stage. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no, we had a lot of very, we had a lot of great episodes. That was very lovely. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I think we've got time for one more. Hi. Now here's the thing then. Is anyone is it just me that's enjoying this bit? <laughs> if if let's say What would you be if you weren't an actor? Unemployed. You got a few shirts to choose from there. Just a few. I've got country boy. <laughs> American country boy to sophisticated to very gay to uh, to kind of laddish to Captain Jack. Ah, nice. Quite a nice mixture. Are you kidding? Hi, my name is David Tennant. I'm the voice of Scrooge McDuck, and I would like to welcome you to Target. Boom! <laughs> look, 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 look. Sweaty pets already. Look at that. Can you get that? That's not good. That is not a good thing. When we did the werewolf episode, uh, we did, uh, it was called Tooth and Claw. Um, you probably knew that. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> extraneous information. Uh, and, and the werewolf was created in a computer by the, the geniuses at the mill, who were our uh, 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 CGI experts. Um, but it's represented on set somehow or another, usually for for an eye line or for a sort of. Um, uh, a reference for the for the people who then replaced the image. So we had a guy uh, a, who had a thing on it in the end. Uh, he had a sort of bicycle helmet with a thing on it to show sort of where the head of the creature would be. And he was in a, a kind of lycra bodysuit. And he would sort of come on. <laughs> um, which was fine and great, and he did it extremely well. And that was all, but this was very tight, this thing he was in. Um, and I hope you won't mind me mentioning it, but about a couple of days in, maybe not even a couple of days, somebody noticed that this left very little to the imagination. And this boy 
was a boy. I mean, it would have taken your eye out. inspired all. And the trouble is, once you've noticed that, it's quite hard to keep your eye on the tennis ball. And it's coming out the stick on the top of his head. Because the eye is being drawn from whatever your reasoning might be, whether it's awe or envy or just you know, the, the sheer record-breaking <laughs> dimensions. What about if I give 50 quid to Comic Relief? Yeah. Can I kiss you? What do you reckon? Yeah! I'd have done it for a fiver. Come on, come on, up you get lad. That's it. That's another 50 quid. Oh, <laughs> 